cube but you don't get anything on the inside so what you've got is essentially a a, I don't know, a window into that box but no polygons to make the entire cube so that's A without B and that's A subtract B so there you go, there's your polygons and there's just your window okay and the only other one is A intersect B so that is the opposite of that so A intersect B is simply the polygon which is would have been there it was taken away when you um, add the sphere into the cube so just to show you again you have that we're going to have that for the bottom two personally the one I use the most is is this one because you can create some really good shapes with that um, just to show you, just to prove that you can have more than one object, so like this one I created here, I've got various different objects um, interacting with just this one cube. And the way to do that is really simple. If I just take the sphere away from here, now all you have to do is just create a load of objects, doesn't matter what they are. Uh, so I don't know. Let's have a sphere. Stick that there. Um, cube. Stick that there. Uh, what else should we have? Nope. Um, torus. Spin that round. Oops, no, I can't do that. Shrink it down. Sorry, I will get there in a minute. It's bright. Okay. Well, let's just stick with those three for now. Now as I said at the start of the tutorial we can only have two objects within a ball but one of those objects could be a group of objects so a null object so all I've done there is grouped all of them together highlighted them and, and for windows pressed alt G and that's grouped them all together so now with that null object I can now put, put that into the ball drag it to the bottom of it and as you can see what it's done is created or taken all of those objects away from that one cube just like that see now again same principle applies you can um, you can change those objects as you see fit for some reason I've lost my attributes there we go um, so yeah, you can change them however you like without having to take them in and out of the ball and you can create all these weird and wonderful shapes and indentations in your objects. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a short tutorial today. I just wanted to share that with you because it's a tool I use quite often in my modelling. Um, there was one other thing I want to show you and if I've got it still open... Yeah. Okay, what, what I've got here is a... Um, there's a little anim animation uh, which I've set up now what I'll do is I'll post this with the tutorial once it's finished it's actually cooking as we speak um, on the machine um, but what I've done is uh, as we've already discussed I've got my cube cube here and um, and I've got a sorry just hide that so you don't have to look at it wrong one there you go and what I've got here for this second object is a sweep nerves. Now what I've done as you can see is um, just used a uh, a B spline uh, to create what's well, essentially a, a tube through this box okay and then I'm sure you know how to use sweep nerves and then just added a circle to that to make a tube um, so that that then cuts 
through through this box here you can't quite see it but you can see that the, the um, um, spit it out the spline coming through there going in the top and out through the side so what I thought I'd try was to um, integrate all of this into a, a MoGraph animation so as you can see up here I've got a line of balls created in a MoGraph cloner object um, this and then both this and the ball have been given rigid body tags um, and I just then thought well let's see if it works and uh, see if the balls will fall through uh, through the box using the ball tube that I've created and see if they go in through here and shoot out through here and this is what it generated I'll just reset the camera and here we go as you can see sure enough the balls drop down through the top of the box and come out the side of the box and that is all using the ball technique I haven't had to model that tube any more than that it simply burrowed a hole all the way through the box and uh, out the other side um, just to show you the attribute manager for the ball again I've had A subtract B which is the one I like to use so um, it's the cube minus the sweep nerves uh, tube which we burrowed through and you can see what the all the new polygons that the ball has created by doing that now one word of warning if you've got a complicated model with a lot of balls uh, within your model it does start to slow the machine down um, now my model of the um, of the uh, fishing trawler even with these few in because this is quite a complex model it does start to slow everything down so just just bear that in mind um, for some reason that's all vanished it's probably because I'm trying to render a uh, render out the um, animation at the same time so there you have it it's uh, again a quick fairly quick tutorial hope you found it of use uh, as I say I'll post the animation on with the tutorial once it's finished uh, cooking and uh, maturing once it's done I'll, I'll stick it up with the tutorial if you've got any questions email me from the site uh, thanks for watching and I hope to be back soon with another one see you later